Hey guys, welcome back to another collaboration with Mixed Media Girl where we are doing a minimalist color fluid painting series where we use only black, white plus one color. Our plus one today is purple. I'm so excited because purple is the most beautiful color in the world and also because I'm going to be using golden fluid and I haven't done this technique since forever and I'm super excited so I'm going to show you what I'm using. Our plus one today is purple and for the style of painting that I want to do I'm going back to something I used to do a few years ago and it's with golden fluid. I didn't have any purple so I'm creating my own purple here using Cere oh my god cerulean blue hue Jesus that was embarrassing and magenta and it's looking kind of pretty I'm gonna add a bit more blue but uh, yeah I'm gonna set myself up here and I am going for this all right you guys so I'm not gonna hide my excitement um, purple is my favorite color so my eyeballs are eyegasming all over the place right now. I did make it very dark. And I'm going to take my time because as you can see, this is a used canvas that I washed off. Another color that we're doing is apple green. And I tried this with apple green and <laughs> I remembered the level of difficulty that golden fluid brings. It's not easy and I failed and I didn't do it properly. And then I remembered, because I tried this so many freaking times. And the important thing is to not use too much paint. It's really annoying when you're right-handed to like try and do everything with the left. So now a paint reaction is created by paint movement. I feel like a robot repeating myself. <laughs> okay, I want that there and that there, basically. Dude. Oh man. Yay. Why did I stop doing this technique again? <laughs> oh yeah, because golden fluid is so freaking expensive. It morphs so much. That's the thing. It doesn't stay 
the golden fluid. That's why you have to not use a lot of paint. The more paint you use, the more it's gonna morph, basically. That's why I spread it all with my finger and <clears throat> I could have used even less paint, I think. a lot of the GAC 800 so maybe that's why it's not curing as fast as it used to way better than I thought it would. I hope it won't morph too much. Holy crap. That was just um, a spray of like this is literally the same bottle I've had for like four years now, five, I don't know. You guys have seen it before. So this is just a ton of water with a few drops of dish soap. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to bring you guys in and hope this doesn't uh, morph too much. Now for the one with the diluted dish soap sprayed, I'm going to try and go in and show you the details. So what you see on the left there, the lacing, that's not the diluted dish soaps. It's really like the cells and the dots. And I'm telling you guys who like to experiment, if you've never used golden fluid before, it's hard. It's expensive and it's very hard to work with. Naturally, I mean, um, if you use silicone, maybe it's different. I'm not sure. I'm not a silicone fan. But just know, a lot of people have written to me saying they wasted so much paint with golden fluid. And I get it. I've wasted so much also. But when you actually do get it, look at that madness right there. It's so pretty. Crazy. It's really, really pretty. Back with the dried result and it's stunning. I bought these super white lights for my art room on the ceiling and 
It shows the color is so much better than before. Now I did blow on it a little bit, like super long afterwards to kind of spread it, but it's pretty sick. And it dried beautifully. Of course, Golden Fluid keeps their colors more than any other paint. And here's the other small one. I did create a very dark purple, but it's so pretty. And look, you can see the reflection that's from all the pouring medium in there. Very cool. Now I haven't made a million holes in my wall yet. So that's why they're super far apart. Usually I show the, like when I make two, I show them beside each other. Eh, there. At the same time, you'll see that one on top and it's purple. That's an older cloud pour I did. Anywho, make sure you check out Mixed Media Girls purple, white and black video and see what she came up with. And I hope you guys are still enjoying our collaborations. We still have green apple coming up. I think we have not done red yet or pink. If you have other suggestions, feel free to let us know in the comments. Have a good one.